Okay, we're out here today, Sunset Boulevard Art Museum. We've got a lot of pieces. These are very early, historical. We never see them. A lot I've never shown before. So it's February 2nd, and we just had a great long conversation about art with a woman named Vanessa, and maybe she'll come back to buy some paintings. Okay, keep making art. In August of 1991, I was working at Color Systems Technology, and one of my co-workers in the art department, when I mentioned I wanted to take painting and drawing lessons, said, oh, I teach painting in my garage. And so these are drip paintings done in the garage of Donna Butnick uh, in August of 1991. And the one on the right is called Birth of a Galaxy, and the one on the left is called Dance. And these are a pair, and the one on the right is called In the Beginning, and the one on the left is called With All the Saints, Amen. And in the beginning are the first words of Genesis, which is the first book in the Old Testament, and with all the saints, amen, are the last words of Revelations. And you read Hebrew from right to left, opposite of English, so it's appropriate that the beginning would be on the right. And this was a fake hieroglyphic script that I was trying to make a complex hieroglyphic script of a divine language. These are two more drip paintings that I did. The one on the left is called Dreamtime Fiesta, and the one on the right is called Fractal Dreamtime Fireworks. And now we can listen to the traffic. These are two still lifes that I did in that same painting session. You can see the similarity of the plant, but I don't really like the one on the right because of the way the, I did the uh, rubbing it off. I was trying to get speed, the feeling of speed. And these are the last ones from that painting series. And the one on the right is called Grasshopper, because that white figure kind of looks like a grasshopper. Whoa, the spirits are moving. How funny is that? Uh, it might be more efficient. All right, I thought it was called Grasshopper, but the one on the right is called Blood of the Martyrs. And the one on the left, it's called World Without End. And there's a long story, I made a separate video, but basically I was trying to paint the floor of a murder scene uh, with blood and plus three of the four humors. And one of the persons that was at that painting session got murdered a day later, and I've always connected it with that painting. And the spirits are restless, they don't like me talking about it.
These three paintings are oil paintings. After I finished with Donna's class, I took a drawing class with Sandra Traspasso. Then I took an oil painting class with William Brownlee. And that was very difficult, but very good. And I got inspired, and instead of actually doing one of the homework assignments, I just painted these paintings for fun. Uh, the one on the right is called Prima Facia, and the one in the center is called Walking Toward the Supernova, and the one on the left is Christmas Eve. And I painted that on Christmas Eve, watching It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart. So I got a B in the class, because I didn't do the homework assignment, and that's fair, because William Brownlee was an excellent teacher, and I was honest. I don't think I, I took these to class, but I don't think I even showed them to him. I told him I did them, and you know, that's just, it was a very rigorous class. And after I finished William Brownlee's class, I painted oil painting for a little while. But then I switched to painting acrylic painting on canvas board. Acrylic paint on canvas board. And these are two nice landscapes that I did. The one on the right is a desert landscape. And I just tried to use the principles of perspective to create the image of a desert landscape. And the one on the left is called the Alphabet Graveyard. The Alphabet Graveyard. It's where old alphabets go to die. And that's a pun. It's based on the elephant graveyard where elephants go to die because you can never find them. This is the Alphabet Graveyard. And these two also are acrylic on canvas board. And the one on the left is called Watching the Moon. Watching the Moon. And the one on the right is called Anguish. Anguish. And I painted the one on the right entirely with my fingertip. I did not even use a brush. And I really like the one on the left, because I tried to use the tricks of perspective to make those look like volumetric shapes that were sitting on a horizon with the moon and the sky in the distance. On the night of the invasion of Iraq in 2003, I stayed up and I painted six paintings. And these are two of the six paintings. And the one on the left is called Sweet and Low. Sweet and Low. And that's a spoon from a Sweet and Low package. That was one of the first assembly art pieces I made. And the one on the right is called Blooms in the Desert. Blooms in the Desert. And superimposed on a landscape at sunrise is an aerial photo of carpet bombing. So that's carpet bombing. And there you have it. These were some of the first uh, acrylic on canvas board paintings. And I did those for quite a while, maybe eight to 10 years. The one on the left is called Book of Truth. And the one on the right is called The Devil is the Antichrist. And the one on the right is just a spoof, just a negative spoof. But the one on the left, I had this deck of cards ever since I was in fourth grade. And I had this deck of cards through high school and college and I just brought them with myself when I moved out here 
And I don't know if they were given to me by my grandfather or whatever. But when I started making assembly artwork based on a playing card, this was the deck of cards that I used. And every painting I took a card from the same deck. And after I did a number of those, 20 or more, these are all the cards I had left. So we, I can figure out how much I used. These were all the cards that were left in the deck. So I arranged them in this pattern and I printed out the clip art on the left and it's called Book of Truth. Because in a way a playing card deck, the symbolism and the organization has an organization that represents a kind of a truth for people that we can't fully appreciate. It's all symbolic. It's not literal like mathematics even though there's counting in numbers. So this was kind of an adventurous step for me. And I spray painted the canvas. Most of the others I made on canvas board, but this is real canvas. And I've never shown this before anywhere, I don't think. I don't think ever. And it's real bold for me to take it outside. Maybe I'll show it at Chocolate and Art. Well, here's a fun series. The one on the right is called The Proud Tower. And I painted that one on 9 13, 2001. And the one on the left is called Pay Phoniography. And that's really a complicated painting. I bought that at Goodwill and it was unfinished. And the underdrawing in the foreground was a book, an open book. But in a fit of inspiration, I used a magic marker and I made it into a stairway down to a subterranean room. And the pay phoniography sticker is one that I saw stuck all over town uh, a number of years ago. And that was one that I found. And that's a subterranean phone booth there, actually. And the flasher works, and so that's the whole painting, and it's a rescued painting that I converted into a conceptual art piece. And these are the newest paintings that I've done. And the three in the middle right there, I found the paintings in a dumpster. And in a fit of creativity, I added those Calavera skull stickers. Emmy, my friend Emmy, gave me those skull stickers a number of years ago, and I never used them. I bought the frames, I cleaned them up, and there you have it. And I was inspired from rescuing those paintings from the dumpster to make the other three that you see flanking them. And these are all very new, in fact, the one on the far right, one of these days, is the name of it. Uh, I just finished the day before yesterday. And the one on the far left, called Get Lucky Number Two, I just finished a few days before that. And there you have it. This is the newest paintings we have out of the whole set, spanning almost 30 years. Okay, here's a fun set of paintings. The ones on the right are very recent. It's called Best of Luck 1, 2, and 3. And those exist just because I really like the frames. I bought the frames on a whim, and then I bought the little creatures at the same Dollar Tree store. And then the two on the left are called Heaven and Hell. And that's just kind of an impressionistic feeling of the spirit of both places. One is all light, surrounded by smooth, round, friendly faces, and the other is dark and distinct, indistinct, surrounded by creatures you don't know where their bodies are or what their intentions are.
right, well, thanks for coming to the Sunset Boulevard Art Museum. Unfortunately, it looks like the gift shop was closed today. But we had a fun time talking about different styles of art and traveling through the different parts of the collection. Thank you. Until the next time, remember, keep making art.